All right, what's up guys? Today we are going to be unboxing the Black Magic Pocket 6K Pro. This is my first type of cinema camera that I have ever owned. The only other cameras I ever owned were a Nikon D750 and a 1DX Mark II, which is what I am filming this on. I've been interested in upgrading to something like the Pocket 6K for a while, but I figured a new one was gonna be coming out, so I held off. And thankfully, I was in a early enough batch to get this early in the US. I know a lot of other people are kind of stuck waiting on shipment issues. So, all right, so let's check out what's inside this box. Got to make sure you have the oversized knife. All right, so a bunch of pamphlets. That's pretty standard stuff. Got a bunch of charging adapters. I did not know it came with that. So that's kind of handy if you're going to other countries. Got AC power. And right here we have the Sony NPF 570. This is the only one I own right now because all the other batteries are back ordered. So hopefully this lasts some decent amount of time. I know Black Magics are pretty notoriously terrible with internal battery life. And then I guess you have a Camera strap, I don't know why you'd ever want to use this thing, but I guess you have it if you want it. And now we've got the camera, and this thing is thick. Like, actually, holy moly, that screen's huge. So I've used the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. I don't think I've actually ever held a 6K before. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, at least compared to the Pocket 4K. I've never owned one, but I did set up a live stream setup for my church and that's what we use. And this thing is really, really thick. I know I've said that a couple times now, but that is a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be. Maybe if you own a Pocket 6K already, you're used to this, but uh, yeah, this is big. Well, while that thing waits to set itself up, I thought I would just give my background. So I've been primarily a DSLR shooter for my whole life. I've dabbled with cinema cameras before. When I was the DP for the Netflix documentary, The Speed Cubers, we used uh, Canon C200 and Canon C300 Mark IIs. Uh, so I'm not completely foreign to the thought of cinema cameras, but I haven't really used a camera that I needed to rig up myself. So I'm really excited to build out a rig for this. I'm still kind of figuring out the parts that I want to get, figuring out exactly what I want to shoot on this camera. But I'm very excited to mess with something like this. There are things that I'm gonna miss about my 1DX2. I'm actually still gonna keep this one. I have two of them. So I'm gonna sell the second one and start using this just for different projects. Things like autofocus is gonna be a bummer, but you know, not every project calls for that. So regardless, I think RAW is gonna be really fun. I think 6K is gonna be a blast. I'm not really looking forward to the file sizes. I'm sure those are gonna be huge but the 1DX Mark II were already huge to begin with, so not that huge of a deal. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this. I think especially just from my background as a DSLR user and jumping into a system like this, it's gonna be pretty exciting. And I'm glad I waited because I almost bought the 6K back in November and now I'm definitely glad that I waited. So stay tuned for more content if you guys are interested, but there's the unboxing, pumped to use it. If you're a DSLR user yourself and you're curious about jumping into a cinema style camera, feel free to come back. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of interesting thoughts coming from a 1DX Mark II to the Pocket 6K. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.